Dr Murray. I thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I found the previous contribution a little amusing. Uh, the member talked about Labor now listening. Well, I guess it has done nothing before on this matter. Nice to think they're now starting to listen and they're going to release a policy sometime soon. Well, the problem is that for many years, the first years of us having in this country seasonal workforce visas, um, uh, overseas work uh, available to students and so on, for the first years of these, most of these policies, Labor was in power. And they did very little. In fact, the numbers blossomed and bloomed under Labor's regime. And they did little when there was, in fact, some exploitation, not the rampant, uh, horrific, um, massive exploitation referred to by the member for Bendigo in her submission or her motion. But there was some. Unfortunately, with human nature involved, there's always the odd person who will try and exploit others in uh, an effort to make financial gain. But let me talk about what this government has done, because we know that the reputation of Australia as a destiny for employment is very important. In my area of Murray, we are dependent on international backpackers, overseas workers or on 457 visas. We depend on them to work in our piggeries, our abattoirs, in horticulture, in fruit picking, pruning, packing. We are unfortunately an area which has a high youth unemployment, over 27 per cent, but at the same time we are dependent on these internationally arriving workers. So there is no way that we're going to see the reputation of Australia trashed either because unions or the Labor Party thinks it resonates amongst some of their voters. We want to make sure the realities are presented. Already this year has been a 10.2 per cent decline in overseas uh, visa applicants from holiday makers, and that's a disappointment to us. We have to make sure that, as I say, the reputation of Australia is not trashed by the opposition. The realities are presented. So let me remind everybody that in 2014, when we are in government, an independent review onto the, into the integrity of the subclass 457 program was commissioned by this government, and the government's response to this review was released in March um, in 2015, 2015, uh, 2014. The review did not find that there was widespread misuse of the program. It found that there were some loopholes which could be exploited by unscrupulous employers, and so we immediately moved to close those loopholes with the Migration Amendment charging for a Migration Outcome Bill 2015. That was to ensure that no one could in fact receive payment for facilitating a visa. And uh, we responded to the concerns by amending the Migration Act 1958 to make it unlawful for a person to receive a benefit in return for a migration outcome. The bill passed the Australian Parliament on Wednesday, the 25th of November 2015. Now, why didn't Labor do something about that? Not a squeak, not a move. It was under the, up to the coalition to make those moves. Under the coalition, we have new criminal penalties up to two years' imprisonment or penalties of up to 324000 for each instance supplying to people engaging in uh, this type of unlawful conduct, including sponsors of visa applicants, visa holders or third parties. Um, Labor did nothing about that. They talk about in their future uh, policy they will increase penalties. Well, good for them, but have a look at what we've already done. We, um, as our legislation shows, if there's a problem, we respond to it. And unfortunately, as I repeat, Labor presided over any problems in the system for six years but did nothing. It reminds me a little bit of the White Australia policy, which was a hallmark of the new federation, unfortunately, in this country in 1901. That was all about the Labor Party of the day trying to make sure our Chinese labour, our, uh, any incoming migrant labour into our country was only to look like them, white Anglo-Irish uh, extraction. We are over that. We are over the xenophobic Labor policy moves of the Labor government. We want to welcome into this country any worker who fits the visa qualifications and categories. We depend on that Labor in horticulture and agriculture. I also want to commend this government for very recently introducing the new dairy industry Labor agreement. 
very, very important for daring, and it will be closely scrutinised in all cases, look for the skills that are needed in this country and also test the market first. This is what our, our coalition always does.